Are you ready to take your audio system to the next level? Look no further than the Audio Dynamics 1200.8 AT. Join us as we explore the endless possibilities that this thing has to offer. Stay tuned in the end for an in-depth look at the features, specs, and more. Experience innovation like never before with car audio technology. So let's kick this off with the biggest benefit this has. Connor, take it away. Oh, surprise, surprise, mother it's also a 10 channel DSP. So eight channels of amplification, two channels of RCA output for DSP purposes. A DSP is a digital sound processor that allows us to manipulate the sound to get a true impression of having that band or your favorite artist in your car as if they're playing just for you. So the benefits to owning this, man, is the fact that it's gonna have crossovers built into it that you can change and manipulate, change the EQ, it's parametric. You also have the ability of having eight channels built into the DSP and the amplifier all in one. And then it gives you two RCA pre-outs to manipulate the output for that external amplifier to get true potential for your speakers. Let's hop on one. Let's hop on over to my box and unbox this beauty. Audio Dynamics 1200.8 AT. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Now before we get rid of this top piece, you have specs as far as the wattage, the total harmonic distortion, so on and so forth. It offers a ton. And then on the sides, it even shows you what it's going to look like for your inputs and your outputs. Now let's put this to the side. We're gonna open this up, remove that. Man, this thing just looks gorgeous in the box. That DSP 1200.8AT slapping you in the face. Now you got your data cable here so you can access the DSP settings and EQ. We'll use that later. This is also your eight channel high level input for integrating into OEM standards if you don't have an aftermarket head unit. Now, standard, you've got your mounting brackets. Let's go ahead and get this out of the box. As I struggle to move foam around. All right, now we have it in our hands. We're gonna show this off and we're gonna go to the bottom. We have two RCA pre-outs for channels 9 and 10, and then we have channels 1 through 8 on the input side. Then we have the little Bluetooth piece here. We have fiber optic in. We also have USB. And then we have our input gains, channels 1 through 8. And then we also have a remote for their added remote feature for the DSPs. We have the cable for the data. And we also have the eight channel inputs right here. And below that we have the auto on, auto off, as well. So let's go ahead and flip this over. We're going to show you the inputs and outputs, obviously ground, remote, and hot. And then you have your eight channels. As you can see, they're all bridgeable as well. So as I place this down, pretend it's in the car, no matter which way I flip this thing, the symbol that's right there showing the AD sign is removable and you can change that to fit any application that you are applying this to. That way it looks the best it can in every way. Overall, it's just one beautiful looking amp. So let's get this into the car. All right, it's in the car, it's going. I set some basic pre-EQ, just crossovers, making sure I don't blow stuff up. But to show you how much of a difference this has made, this is a before and after picture of my DSP and my two four channel amps that are in the car. And this is what it is now. I've got nothing underneath my driver's seat and just one solid amplifier that's eight channels and a DSP underneath my passenger seat. That leaves so much more room for me to put another one of these under my driver's seat so I can have way more control over my rear speakers as well. All right, now that we got the DSP hooked up, we see the software, this stuff is a ton, a ton, a ton. But let's give you some main pointers on why this is really cool. So first and foremost, you've got channels one through 10, nine and 10 being your output through the RCAs, one through eight being the physical speaker wire output that's on the amp. Channels one and two, those are my front left tweets, three and four, those are my front mids, and five and six is my bridged for my six and a half in my left door, seven and eight bridged for my right door. And if you look up here, you can even bridge these channels so whenever I manipulate it, they're both identically the same. 
Now let's go up here. Let's just go to channels five and six. Oh, let's rebridge that. I'm going to look at the high pass filter and low pass filter. I can change the type from butter, link, and bezel. I can change the crossover points for both the high pass and the low pass. Change it from 80 hertz to whatever I want. And then I can also go to the slope. I can turn the slope off or I can bring it all the way up to 48 dBs. This thing is just impressive. Now that we've done that, let's go on over to the low level input. I have one set of RCAs going in that's low level, but I can change it to fiber optic. I can change it to Bluetooth, line in, or USB audio. So you got a ton of playroom here. Let's go on over to advanced. I have low level, but it also does auto calibration. Hook up an auto tuning mic to it, place it in the car. It EQs it, it time aligns it, and it sets crossovers and everything for you so you don't have to do what I'm doing. We'll go to the mixing set. We can see that we have our inputs. We have low level one and two. That's all I have. I don't have a ton more. So I'm going to be able to manipulate level, low level one is my left, low level two is my right. And we go to bridged one and two. So channel one, left input. Channel two, right input. Five and six, since five and six is my left door, I'm going to bridge those and I want both five and six to get input from the left channel. Seven and eight, we're going to get the right channel on both inputs. You have a ton, an absolute ton to work with here to make it the best it can for whatever application you're using. Oh crap, I just exited out of it. With this being a limited supply from Audio Dynamics, I am very impressed. I am excited to see what else they can bring to the table since they are a small company and up and coming and they are getting bigger every day. I am thoroughly impressed. Overall, man, it's, it's great if you want everything for SQ, small footprint, all-in-one. I don't use all-in-one easily. This is a literal all-in-one guess, best bang for your buck. And I'm about to change my whole system, which I already did. I'm gonna keep it this way. Don't tell Carmel. Whether you're a casual listener or a sound quality enthusiast, this will bring your listening experience to new heights. And the technology that AD has crammed into this little bitty footprint of an amp and DSP, it is cutting edge technology to give you clear and clean sound, undistorted, even wavelengths and EQ to just make you feel more immersed into the sound to give you that image that you have a concert live in your car, designed specifically for you. Now, the main reason why I would choose this amp over any other amp is the physical footprint, the just honestly how sexy this thing looks once it's in the car, and that little nameplate, no matter which portion you put it in or how you orientate the amp, it's gonna look clean and clear all the way through. But main points, physical footprint, it's an LOC, it's a line driver, it's an amp, it's a DSP, and it's just a sexy looking amp to put in your car. And everything is all in one place. That's all I have for you guys today. I finally got it all dialed in. It sounds phenomenal, but don't take my word for it. Come by the shop, check it out in person, see for yourself. And if you have equipment that you want us to test or review, drop it down in the comments below. Let us check it out and help you guys. Until then, I'm gonna get back to work. Crazy boy.